Hi, my name is Frederick. I just did a Ouija board right now and I have a lot to tell Chin. And by the time this video goes up, it'll have been my birthday. This year I'm turning 17. Uh, my birthday was June 28th. For all of you who don't know, but thank you all for the birthday wishes. There's like, I still have to respond to some. But Lord Jenna Marbles has done this video many times in the past. And for her birthday last year, she didn't make this video, which made me sad because these are some of my favorite videos to hear because it's nice to learn some things from other people and find new perspectives. By the way, these things I've learned and like the life lessons that I'm going to tell you, you have no reason to take them. I mean, it's just for you to hear. So without further ado, here are 17 things I've learned in 17 years. Number one, don't ever let your negative feelings bottle up inside you. This, I don't listen to that much, but I have learned many times that it's worth just Say you feel like say it out. Just tell anyone, even if it hurts their feelings. If you have any fears or doubts, they're like, "Oh, I don't want to make them. I don't want to make them upset. I don't want to get into a fight." It's more worth it to tell them and be honest with them than have you suffer by yourself, because you can at least work out this problem. Hopefully, for me, a lot of the times I usually just stay at my house, and I will tell like maybe one or two people online, because you always want someone to fall back on no matter what. But it's better to just go up straight to the person and be like, hey, listen, this is bothering me. Let's talk this out so we can, you know, be normal again. Number two is learn to stop giving fucks about things. You know what I used to be insecure about? My body, my hair, my eyebrows, my eyes, my nose, my mouth, my teeth, my everything. I've been there. But eventually you get to this point in your life where you're like, you know what? I don't give fucks about that. Someone wants to point out something wrong with your body. Guess what, bitch? I don't give fucks because if you just say that they have nothing to respond with and like yeah it's just I don't give fucks and yeah I know it's much harder to say that easily because there's like people who've dealt with insecurities their whole life and it's you know it could be like on an extreme but even if you just say it to yourself like it it helps eventually because uh, I sometimes I still say it when on the inside I still feel that way but it doesn't drag out that situation because they're like, oh, fine, he gives no fucks. Now, if someone wants to point something out to you and you can't say, I don't give no fucks, then show them this video and go to this timestamp. Guess what? They don't give fucks. There, I said it for you. Number three is don't ever wax your eyebrows after going to a shower because, um, you can't, you might not be able to tell. It rips your fucking skin off. Don't do it. Just wait. Moisturize first. Number four is take photos everywhere you go, as much as possible. I'm kind of inclined to do it because I love photography and I... I, I take photos as a hobby, but I always hear people go around and say, oh, I wish I had more photos of my pet or us when we went to this trip back in 2010. I'm pretty sure all of you guys nowadays have a phone. You don't have an excuse to not have enough photos. That's on you for not taking them. Like the reason why I take all these photos is because you don't want to, you don't want to forget those memories you made with your friends or even with yourself. Like if you saw a pretty flower one day, I mean, just, just take a photo of it. So you look back on it and be like, I took a, I saw a pretty flower one day and it made me happy, you know? Number five is don't be afraid to take risks in your life. And this is so broad and can be taken so many different ways and it's very cliche. But for me, it's like literally a first world problem. But back when I was younger, I used to be scared of wearing like button up shirts or um, tucking in my shirts. Guess what, bitch? Yesterday, I literally wore a button up shirt, tucked it in and wore a belt. And I got compliments on it. And now I like... <laughs> tucking in my shirt. Number six is if you've ever been lazy at home and you you haven't been with your friends for a while, force them to take you somewhere. I don't care where, just go. I don't care if you don't want to go because it's so worth it to make these memories with your friends because you don't have them forever, guys. And you're gonna regret not making these memories when you see them on your Snapchat, you know, at a McDonald's restaurant and just, they're chatting and talking about life and stupid stuff and having fun and <laughs> spilling salt everywhere and getting kicked out. Like you want to be there for the moment. Number seven is if you ever feel stressed about like the world coming in on you or you feel like you have no friends or just a lot of thoughts are going in your mind, clear them out by just leaving. Get off of your phone, get out of the house, walk somewhere, take a bike ride in nature, drive in a straight line. I don't care where you go. It doesn't matter. Just enjoy nature for what it is and enjoy like the life that you're given. Once again, Kind of easier for me because I'm a photographer, but like everywhere I go, I see potential with things. Like that fucking piece of grass, beautiful. <laughs> Number eight is if you have really oily skin, and by oily, I mean like you wake up at seven o'clock and by the time you get home from school, you are an oil spill. 
buy blotting sheets. Have a pack with you at all times because they are a fucking godsend. I can go through about like two a day, I think, at most. But like people around me try to be relatable when I'm using them and they're like, oh my god, I have oily skin too. And I go, oh, you really, really, he, try. They take one of my beautiful sheets of paper and waste it just by doing this. And there's like one spot that got soaked. Do you know what happened earlier before this video? This already happened. And guess what I did before this? Wash my face. I don't want to hear that you have oily skin until you come to me and you soak one of these up. Soak it up, bitch. <laughs> soak it up. <laughs> Number nine is if you ever see something on the road that you think could be useful, just take it. A few weeks ago, I saw this desk, like a wooden desk on the sidewalk, and I was like, you know what? I do art stuff. I, I want a fucking desk. I want my own desk. I want it. So I took that desk, and I'm gonna paint over it, and you know, make it like artistic because I want to be that bitch. But you know what? It's mine now because anything on the ground be fair game. Number 10, don't ever speak about your teachers online. They will find out, trust me on that. But number 11 is befriend at least one teacher at school. And I don't mean like, oh, Miss, Miss Johnson, can you give me like a better grade on this, please? Because I'm really trying to get into college and stuff. No, not like that, befriend. I'm talking become their friend as in like, Set aside the fact that they're a teacher. Diarrhea therapy talk to them, like have them know your whole life. Be friends with them, talk to them every day. Be able to vent to them about how sucky your day was so you get adult, inf like you get their opinion. Cause most friends will be like, oh my God, same, or oh, I feel you, I'm sorry about that. Whereas adults, they give you actual advice and like you learn stuff from that. No shade to my friends. I mean, you guys help me a lot, but sometimes teachers, they just know what to say. My photography teacher is this for me, but uh, he's also related to why I said number 10 because he knows I called him hot on a video. <laughs> number 12, don't ever do something that you know has no benefit from it. One time I was hanging out with a friend and this was like back in third or fourth grade. And this friend of mine is like enemies with my next door neighbor's friend, but I'm friends with both of them. So one day the friend was like, oh, you want to like sabotage that next door neighbor and like cut off her their um, mother's tulips? And I was like, okay, why not? Because I was in third grade and they were like eighth grade already. I was just an innocent boy who wanted to just do stuff. So yeah, I, I took scissors and I cut all the tulip heads like this. And the father saw and I got grounded for like a week and that was the one time I got grounded. I knew there was no benefit. I just felt like doing it. So don't do that stuff if you ever feel like it. Number 13 is if you were like, Number 13 is if you were like 90% sure that you can save money somehow by finding like another way to do something, take it. I currently only have my permit. I haven't got my license yet. Getting it soon though. But like I may or may not have driven somewhere like seven minutes away because I didn't want to waste $6 on an Uber. Like guess I saved $6 that round or actually 12 because it would be a round trip. And I didn't get caught because I'm actually like a good driver. But take it with a grain of salt because you're only so invisible to the cops. Trust me. Trust me on that. <laughs> Number 14, um, don't ever run with flip-flops on the ground, especially in grass, because you will slip and hurt something. Earlier today, I was playing Duck Duck Goose and uh, I hit someone with goose and I started running away. And I full on soccer slid just on the side of my body and it, I have a purple bruise now. <laughs> Number 15, this is controversial, but something I've learned in my life, especially like one hour ago, is that ghosts are real. And I, I will get into detail about it in another video, but I did a Ouija board and I tried it before two years ago and nothing happened, but this time I did it with some friends and I could tell none of them were lying because you can see fingertips and stuff. But uh, I talked to three different spirits and that it didn't even scare me, it's just weird to know that like, this actually happened in real life. And now I have personal evidence of it. Like I have proof that this actually happened and I have friends to back me up on it. And I'm not saying that people who say that ghosts aren't real are wrong, it's personally my belief and something I learned. So don't come for me. But I mean, if, if there's anything you wanna take from it, it's just try, try a Ouija board with open mind, okay? Cause you, you could get surprised. <laughs> Number 16. Um, learn the difference between like deodorant, antiperspirant, body spray, perfume, cologne. Cause they're, they're, there's all, they all, all have differences and it's, mm, you don't want to know. Just, just learn them. That's all I'm telling you. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you why. And finally, 
most sappies of all is number 17. You know when you get a wild card in Uno and it feels like so unexpected and out of nowhere but you're also like really excited? There will always be someone in your life that is a wild card, just like an Uno. You know, they come into your life out of nowhere and you feel so confused because like your whole mindset in life is just warped and like you don't know how to think, you don't know how to act, you do weird things that you don't normally do, but in the end, you you feel like you've won life. Or just the game of Uno. <laughs> I didn't say anything. You didn't hear anything I said. And that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed, give us a real like. Leave a comment down below about what you want me to do next week or the month from now, because I do have a lot of videos planned, guys. And subscribe for more videos every Saturday, Sunday, whatever day I'm feeling at the time. But I just want to thank everyone again for an amazing 17th birthday. Like I, I don't celebrate my birthday that much anymore and my friends, they, they just, they made it a lot better. And so do some other people, but those other people I will mention another day. I didn't say anything. I love you guys and everything is less than three.